Hello, everybody. My name is Saskia. My name is Helena, and welcome to the GCC 2021 training. So in this short welcome video, we will uh, guide you through uh, what will happen this week and how everything works. So first, um, we will be using the Galaxy Training Network training materials. In case you're new to this, this is a collection of training materials around Galaxy uh, made by hundreds of uh, contributors around the globe and they cover lots of different topics and um, there are a lot of videos to choose from this week um, and these are all also suitable for self-study so after this week you can just keep working on them if you want the website for this you can find at training.galaxyproject.org during this event we'll be following a code of conduct we'll be following the one from uh, the ib if you have any issues Please let us know. Please report them to the appropriate contacts that are listed in the code of conduct. And please read the code of conduct so you know what you've agreed to and that everyone has a safe and welcoming experience. So the program for this week, you can find it on uh, the course website that is linked to here. And you should have gotten an email with this too. We have three tracks. We have a science track. We have a developer track, so if you want to work on developing components for Galaxy or tools for Galaxy, and an administration track, um, so if you want to um, run your own Galaxy server. Um, the website looks a little bit like this, and each of these uh, blue bars is a training uh, session. If you click on that, you can see a little bit more information. So the course format is that you are in charge. It's an asynchronous training, which means that all of the course content is prepared, it's online, it's ready, and you are completely in control of the schedule this week. You'll be able to start when you want, take breaks when you want, end when you want. It's a lot more convenient for you. There is no daily schedule for the science and developer tracks. There are just modules. So you can choose which modules might be interesting to you and just go straight to those. You don't have to learn about other topics that aren't so interesting to you. If you don't have any time, if you don't have enough time to finish everything, then you can always come back later. All of the materials will stay online forever. And during this week, we will be using Slack, which we'll talk about in a minute. Here we'll talk about any questions you have or any help you need getting through the tutorials. To get started, um, you will need the following things. The course website to find the program and all the training sessions that uh, are available for you to follow. Um, you probably found this because that's why you're watching this video, but the link is galaxyproject.org slash events slash GCC 2021 slash training. The second thing you'll need is a Galaxy account. So please make an account on one of the following servers. So we have Galaxy main uh, in the US. Uh, you can find this at usegalaxy.org. We have the European Galaxy server at usegalaxy.eu, the Australian server at usegalaxy.org.au, and also the Belgian server, usegalaxy.be. So you can just choose whichever one is closest to you. They should all work uh, and make an account there. Um, and on each training session during this week, we can show you, okay, these servers support the session, uh, but most of these support most of the trainings. Uh, note that if you make an account here, uh, you might get a confirmation email and you have to click the link in that email before you can start working. Now, if you don't get this email um, and you can't work yet, please let us know. And number three, the third thing you need is to join Slack. So this is a chat platform where you can ask your questions. Um, you should have already received an invite link via email. Um, but if you did not, please let us know and we will, uh, we will send it to you again. These are the training sessions that we saw a little bit about earlier. The blue bars that you'll click on and they'll expand and they'll show you all the materials that are needed to do a single training session. So you see here, we've got a video embedded. We write a bit about the author, what the video is about, who wrote the caption, because all of our videos are captioned. So if you have trouble understanding the accent or you need to read what was written, then that's possible. Down below is the supported servers section. So not as Saskia mentioned, not every tutorial supports every is supported on every server because all the servers have different tools installed on them, right? So 
If you need to use a different server for a specific tutorial, you'll be able to find out which one here will work. And then at the bottom is the supporting materials. This is a very important section because it has a link to the slides or the video or the, the tutorial, as well as the FAQ document for any questions you might have. That's the first place you should go to see if we've already addressed the common questions with the tutorial. And otherwise, there is also the channel interested if you want to ask questions directly to all of the instructors. And yeah, so you can see here the link to Slack. Um, please click on this uh, link to go to the channel and then join the channel. And it'll be very nice if when you start, say, say hi, let us know that you're starting. And then during the, uh, the session, you can ask your questions. And when you're done with the training session, please let us know what you thought of it. Uh, did you enjoy it? Um, do you have any uh, wishes for things that could have be, been added? And remember to thank also your instructors who worked very hard to get uh, all these trainings ready for you. So the videos, so most of these training sessions have video tutorials. Um, and all these videos work a little bit differently. So in some videos, the instructor will take you through every step in Galaxy one by one, tell you exactly where to click. Others are a little bit more like demos and you don't have to follow along, you just watch. Um, other sessions are more you uh, work through the materials on your own, so you read the manual and you do it, and then you can refer to the um, to the videos if you get stuck or if you want to have like afterwards a little bit of an overview of what you did. So um, yeah, a little bit different uh, per session. Yeah, you really get this continuum of choice. Do you want to watch the video? Do you want to rely just a little bit on the video and mostly on the training materials? a lot on the video, a little bit on the training materials when you need to copy and paste things, or do you just want to skip the videos and go straight to the tutorial? You can really choose how best works for you to learn. So some important video settings. I think most people have used YouTube, but if you haven't, all videos have subtitles. You'll find these in the gear menu at the bottom right. Uh, you can enable subtitles. You can change the playback speed. If some of us are talking too fast, like I'm very guilty of, or you can also decrease or increase the quality, depending on your internet connection. Now, like we said, support will happen on Slack. Um, and just don't be shy. Ask all your questions, discussions. If you're wondering about the science or about how to apply this to your own data, all of this, we're here. There are lots of instructors this week here, especially for you to answer your questions. So we would love to hear from you. Um, that's what we're here for. So please ask. Um, everybody here, uh, lots of people are new to Galaxy, so there are no, no dumb questions. We're happy to answer anything. Um, so you can ask us in Slack. Um, you can also look at the FAQ documents that maybe the question has been answered before. Uh, and if you see uh, another participant ask a question that, hey, you just figured this out or you know the answer, please feel free to, to answer the question as well and talk to them. So this is a little bit more on Slack. Slack is our chat platform we'll be using to discuss all of the training discussion will be separated into different channels. We have a channel for each tutorial that you need to go through. This helps us keep the discussion very focused to that training session and nothing gets mixed up. We also have a social uh, channel if you just want to socialize and a couple of other channels like that that aren't tutorial focused, but most of them are. Um, in Slack, there is threaded conversations as a feature. So when you ask your question, people can reply in a thread and this helps keep the chat very organized. So when you want to reply to something someone said, please try and reply in a thread. Um, Slack also supports one-on-one -on -one calls, but we'll also have Remo for that if we need. And hopefully because we're using Slack, we can have 24 seven support from instructors around the world. We've got a whole wonderful team across the globe who's going to help out with this and having it all on a Slack pod, on a chat platform rather than like real time video makes a lot easier for instructors from all across time zones to help out. Now to find the channel for your session, please open the session on the website at the bottom you see this supporting materials section. And there is this this one part where it shows you which channel belongs to the session so each session has its own channel so we can keep things organized a little bit. And you can click on this link to go directly to that channel. Um, 
And another way to find all the channels is uh, in Slack itself. On the left side, you see the list of channels. And if you go to that, um, the word channel, there's this plus icon. If you uh, click on that, you can go to browse channels and you see the whole list of all the channels. And then you can join lots of channels um, at once. And when you open a channel for the first time, you'll see a button at the bottom like this, join channel. So just click that to join and then you can follow the discussion. You can ask your own questions, um, things like that. And one last tip about Slack. So if you have joined a lot of sessions and um, it's a bit too much and you can't find your channels anymore, you can star your favorites by right clicking on them and then they will be sorted to the top. So you can do the ones that you're working on or that you're most interested in following. So this is Rima. It looks a little bit different this year than it did last year. This will be used for the rest of GCC, and it'll already be open this week if you want to go play around and explore. This is the virtual conference hall we have created for the Galaxy main event. So that'll be the conference and all the presentations. And as you see, there are lots of different tables spread out across the, the floor. All of the little spaceman icons, you can click on those, and that'll join a seat at a table. And then you can talk with each other. Remo lets you do video conferencing as well as chat and, or just audio discussions. Yeah, so if you would like to work together with other participants on a tutorial, feel free to in Slack say, hey, I'm on table 38. Anybody who's doing this tutorial, please join me. And then maybe you can talk a little bit together while you work on it and get to know each other. Um, another thing we have this week are icebreakers. So every day we have one fun little question um, that uh, we would like you to answer in the social channel. So this really helps us to sort of um, see how many people there are and get to know each other a little bit and just um, yeah have, have a good time together. So these are in the program as well. Um, so at the top, um, there's this um, training session for icebreakers. So it has a question per day. And please try to answer this, uh, this every day. Uh, and just interact with each other here and get to know each other a little bit. And definitely do this if you would like a certificate at the end. Yeah, definitely. There's also feedback. We love your feedback and we desperately need it. So if you notice any typos, do you have any suggestions, do you have any compliments? Did we do something right or complaints about the tutorial? We didn't explain something clearly enough. Let us know. If the feedback is about the specific materials, like the slides or the manual, there is a feedback form at the end of every tutorial. You can click on this to fill it out and this will let you say all the things you need to tell us to fix or all the things you thought were wonderful. We'd love to hear the feedback. And if you have feedback about the course itself, there is a Slack channel, hashtag event GCC 2021. Here you can write any feedback you have about the event itself, the organization, things like this, things that aren't clear or need more or need some more information from us. Okay, and then after the course, uh, everything will stay online. So if you couldn't finish all the, the trainings you wanted to, you can come back later, it will stay online forever. So there are a lot more sessions than you can possibly finish in one week. So don't feel like you have to do everything. Just focus on the things you like best. And you can come back forever, basically, uh, after the course to keep working. Um, if you want or need a certificate of attendance for this training week, that is uh, available upon request. Um, so there is a, a form you can fill in after this week to request your certificate. Um, to qualify for certificate, you have to you have to have a ticket to GCC. You have to um, keep all the work you do. So any uh, Galaxy histories or other things you might create, um, we'll ask you to just to, to send that to us. And also be active on Slack. So make sure to follow to answer the icebreaker questions every day. Ask lots of questions. Join all the channels. Uh, let us know when you start. Give us feedback. Um, all that sort of things. And then we'll send you a personalized certificate of attendance. We just want to know which uh, training sessions you did, and we'll put those on the certificate. So you don't have to, you can do as many or as few as you want. You'll still get the certificate. Um, and one last thing I just want to emphasize, this all is a community effort. So the GTN materials are already a community effort made by almost 200 um, community members. This week also, we have close to 100 volunteers helping out to answer your questions. 
Uh, lots of people made videos and new training materials and updated existing training materials to make this um, as nice an experience for you this week uh, as can possibly be. So like a big thank you. And if you enjoyed this week, if you enjoy certain training materials, please let our uh, community members know they're all volunteering their time. And I love to hear uh, your feedback and your compliments and everything. So I'm really thankful for, for this community. Yeah, it takes a village. So go forth, analyze, and have fun. That's it. Thank you so much. Hope to see you soon. <laughs>